Hello everyone, I'm Giuseppe Mamano, welcome back. Today we're going to do a still life and we're gonna paint a jar of banana peppers. So we start this painting with my panel, it's a 9x12 and now what I did, I divide in four parts with two lines, my panel and uh, with my brush I'm getting the dimension. I have my still life set up like near to me, maybe a couple of feet from me. So I get the exact dimension for this jar. After they can even change a little bit, doesn't matter. Because at the end, this is a painting. And you see, they're gonna go real quick, try to get the more precise than I can. Even if it's not perfect, I can change after. So using my brush, I got some dimension. You can even use a tape measure, whatever, or do a smaller. I just wanted to use my brush this time. So take your time to get the right form and dimension, even if you still gotta think that you can still change it during the process of the painting. Now the color I use now is just uh, some uh, transparent red oxide. I try to fill this painting. I don't want to start and try to nail the color because this is just the first coat. So what I'm going to do now is just get some color on this jar and after I'm going to scrape some paint using a knife or I think in this case I use a squeegee. You can see how they are scraping some paint and you can even model the paint and make sculpt, sculpt the peppers. Now this is almost uh, at the end of the first stage. Start putting some light on those peppers just to separate each one. You're gonna see that all in all my painting are gonna work between light and dark. Now I still keep my color darker because I can always make it lighter with my highlights. For me it's more easy to start with darker color and the second stage of the painting I can add my darkest dark and my highlights. Now real quick you see that I'm adding some background and uh, I'm kind of cutting all around the jar. So during the first coat I'm very loose and really don't worry much, you don't have to be perfect. So I'm always war, I almost look at my still life setup and my painting. Every time I do a couple brush stroke, I look back and forth, I step back and see how it look. Now I start putting some dark and then play. In all painting, you're going to see me play with the highlights and dark. That's what makes three-dimensional. Now, I use my combination of color very simple. 
for the yellow pepper, I'm using Indian yellow, cadmium yellow, and if I wanna make it darker, maybe I add some burnt amber or red oxide. If I wanna make it lighter, I add more cadmium yellow and titanium white. For the red pepper, I use cadmium red and magenta. If I want it darker, I add some burnt amber. If I want it lighter, more cadmium red and maybe a touch of titanium white. Now you see the more I add color, you can see already those pepper came alive. And still continue working with my shadow and my highlights and blend them together. Now try to don't, uh, get no details for now. And just look at the form of every pepper, the jar, squint my eyes. At the end, you see that just a couple details I'm gonna make. This painting look almost real. Now you see they start looking pretty good now already, but I didn't add no details. You see that when I'm gonna add at the end the couple highlights that you see in the picture, you're gonna finish the paint real quick. Now I started with a big brush at the beginning, now that is in the detail stage, I use a smaller brush. The color are the same, I maybe little bit different, add more light or more dark, but still try to make my mixing easy. If you start mixing five, six color, make your life too hard. Now with the background, I model the jar a little bit. That's why I was saying in the beginning, don't worry. You can always fix it. And I start working with the cap. You see that I'm going very dark, not very dark, but darker than the color that you see there on my still life setup. And after we put some highlights on top and darks. That's what I focus with uh, a lot of still life form dark and highlights. You see that I start to add some little detail and the jar look pretty good but still missing a lot of detail. Now with the detail it will change and make it three-dimensional and realistic. Now for the mixing it's just a try. You gotta try like if you there's not a, a mixing chart really for for any painting you do. You just gotta try. If something is yellow, use some yellow. I put always couple red, couple yellow, couple brown, couple blue in my palette. So I use them. Like example, in this case, I have in my palette cadmium yellow, Indian yellow, and I use them together until uh, adding titanium white or burnt amber if you want it lighter or darker until you get in the color and always start the first stage of the painting darker so it's more easy for you put highlights now you see that I start getting couple little detail it's like couple touch up touch up sorry couple speck of white here and there and you can see here the painting done and look pretty good very happy with this all right guys we're done for today i have a lot of fun i hope you guys too please remember to subscribe my channel and check out my website at gmamanoart i will see you very soon ciao